Okay, turn down that music. In step two, we create the wing support brackets and make some other mount points. I had to recreate this video because I forgot to point out that you need to cut off some of this flare support bracket right here. It should remain as shown in the picture. Bust out your welding skills. You need to build a wing support bracket out of steel or aluminum that looks like this. And don't make fun of my welding skills. I was learning how to weld aluminum for this piece. So the wing support bracket needs these measurements. We will still need to use plastic washers to make up for small adjustments in height when we mount the defender wing on top of this bracket on each side. And here's the inside width of the bracket. Again, just hit pause. Drill a hole in the center of the wing support bracket as shown in the diagram. Use a die grinder to make sure the hole in the wing support bracket is oval. Yeah, because this allows for sliding the bracket forward and backward on the Jeep chassis for fitment. Fasten the wing support bracket to the existing Jeep threaded hole. Again, the oval hole in the wing support bracket allows it to be slid back and forth when we get into final fitment. I drilled holes underneath the blank cover plate on the defender wing in order to fasten the wing to the support bracket. The black plastic cover that goes here will hide the screws used to mount the wing to the Jeep chassis. Here is what the wing support bracket looks like from underneath. And notice the cross pieces that I made out of eight inch aluminum plate. They're used to strengthen the support of the wing, which allowed me to actually stand on it once it's properly mounted. All right, time to go to step three.